going to begin with our breaking story on that father accused of killing four children and torturing his wife. Today, Gregory Green faced a judge for the first time. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket is live in Dearborn Heights to tell us what happened in court today. Simon. Joanne, the suspect had almost nothing to say here in court. The judge ordering him held without any bond at the Wayne County Jail. Gregory Green only spoke for a moment very quietly. We can show you that footage from inside the courtroom. He did say that he did not need to be granted bond. The 49-year-old man facing up to five life sentences for allegedly murdering his two children and two stepchildren, also slashing his wife's throat and shooting her in the foot. Police say yesterday at their home on Hip Street, Green's 39-year-old wife was found in the basement bound with duct tape and zip ties. She remains hospitalized. The four children were all found dead at the home. Now, during court today, the prosecutor was adamant that Green poses a huge threat to society and must be confined to a jail cell prior to any trial. Take a listen. Your Honor, based on uh, the fact that this defendant is charged with uh, five potential life offenses, his previous criminal history, the heinousness of this act, and the fact that uh, the people believe that the chances of conviction are very strong, uh, we would ask you obviously to remand this defendant. Now, during today's court hearing, there were no family members present here. We've also learned that Green will be back for yet another hearing in about two weeks. Live in Dearborn Heights, Simon Shaket, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you very much. Meantime, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy just released a statement on this case saying, quote, there is nothing that better illustrates the silence of violence than this case. A confluence of events led to the deaths of four beautiful children. The alleged evidence in this case will show an appalling level of domestic violence that was cataclysmic. We must push the issue of domestic violence back to the forefront and be constantly educated about it. Again, Kim Worthy, Wayne County Prosecutor. Meantime, the father of the murdered teens, Chadney Allen and Cara Allen, is talking with 7 Action News. He says of his children, quote, they didn't give me any red flags. You're going to hear from him starting today on 7 Action News at 5. Meantime, what a troubling past Gregory Green has. Take a look at his criminal record now. He previously served time for the murder of his first wife, Tanya. That was back in 1991. He pleaded no contest to second degree murder and was released from prison in 2008 after being denied parole four times. Records show his current wife, Faith, filed for divorce last year but then stopped the proceedings. She filed again last month. Lots of people have been pouring out their hearts to this family. We caught up with a first grader today who dropped off her favorite stuffed animal at the memorial in front of the family's home. She was visiting the memorial with her mother. She went to summer camp with a six-year-old girl, Koi, who was one of those killed. She was my really best friend. And my heart just breaks for not only the mother, the you know, the other parent involved, the grandparents, the rest of the family. It's just, it's so heartbreaking. There will be a vigil for the family tonight. That is set for 7 o'clock tonight at Polk Elementary School. That's at the intersection of Annapolis and Hip.